Holy cow, is it time? Are we there? Are we live? Welcome to the Podcaster's Lounge. <clears throat> it's time to start. Let's do it. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, say hello in the chat. Say hello to your friends. Your family, your enemies. Well, you only have enemies. Okay. I guess not now. Unfortunately, that's been a while. So, welcome to the Podcasters Lounge. This is where we hang out. And we just have some fun. And we chill. And we talk about anything, really. This, so, I'm. In the podcasting industry, I make my living in podcasting in terms of production as well as the podcast engineering school, which you see right there. Um, but most podcasters don't, and so the, the lounge here is just us hanging out. And you see over here my desk, I keep pointing to the wrong side. I clean off my desk a little for you guys. Are you happy that it's a little cleaner than average? <laughs> so, looks like I'm live. I hope I'm live. Yeah, Restream says I'm live. Oh wait, it still shows, uh, sending data, but I must be live. But let me check. So we're here in the lounge every Wednesday evening. From, well, my time, so I'm in Mountain Time. I'm in Colorado Springs, which is a little bit south of Denver. And... For me, it's Wednesdays from 5 to 7 p.m., which means for the East Coast folks, so New York time, it's 7 to 9 p.m. And I'm just trying to verify if we're actually live. It says live now. All right, maybe the chat's not working. This would be great. God, restream. Restream is rough, isn't it? So what if I click on play there? No, I see it. I'm live. So if you're here, say hello in the chat. Uh, I've got a bunch of stuff to talk about. Uh, hey, Josh. New vocal effects, Chris? Wait, what? You hear me with some effect? Oh. Holy cow. How is it? It's better now, right, Josh? It's normal now. Oh, I left on my little altar boy. My my uh, my plug-in that I was using. Oh, and I meant to uh, find some good settings on that because the, in the last Podcaster's Lounge, I was messing with pitch shifting my voice down and I didn't get my settings before we got live on the stream so when I turned on the plug-in I didn't know what it sounded like so there you go thanks Josh wow that's great that's just great <laughs> so now the beginning of the stream is gonna be me sounding weird anyway how you doing Josh what's new with you man I'm gonna I'm going to turn the, I'm going to show my screen now. Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, audio hijack. That's what was up there. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, is this, uh, can, so here's a question. Can I play? <laughs> I want to play this on my stream. Am I allowed to? Is any can anyone here tell me? Hey, Heather, can can I play a YouTube video on my stream? Heather, do you know? It's it's only a minute and three seconds, and it's it's Obama, Obama a preview of Obama's new podcast, which is, this is actually pretty funny. I think you can for commentary on the video. Yes. Okay. Good. So here we go. And I'm, I'm sure you guys will be able to hear this. Let me know if you're not able to. Wait a minute. Wait. 
Wait, I don't think this is what it is. Oh no, now I'm confused. All right, I'm just gonna play it. Let me know if you can't hear it. First it was Netflix, and now the Obama family apparently is going to produce podcasts for Spotify. Their uh, podcast will cover wide ranging topics, but so far we don't know the specifics. Here's a preview. This is a preview of the podcast, ready? Hi everybody. Now, I have to <laughs> say thank you uh, to the people <laughs> who helped make today possible. <laughs> Stamps. Dot. <laughs> com. Oh, it's skip. Wait, why did it glitch? He said stamps.com. <laughs> He's like, I'd like to thank everyone who's been helping to get the podcast <laughs> together. <laughs> stamps.com. Anyway, all right. Well, why why did it glitch right at the moment, right? This is the moment right here. Dot com. See? Why? stamps.com so it, that's it's not it doesn't sound like that he actually I, I mean the first time i heard it it was fine so anyway how you doing heather down in new zealand podcast engineering school by the way it starts next tuesday podcast the next semester of podcast engineering school and the next one starts in september so i'm psyched and of course podcast movement Is in August. I, if, oh, Heather, it's freezing in New Zealand. Oh, man. Look at me. I'm in a t shirt. Ah. Uh, oh, and I cut my lip shaving. I literally cut my lip. So I think it's the first time I've, like, I don't know if you could see it. Oh, wait. Hold on. See it? That little red thing? Anyway, it's a little cut. I've never cut myself shaving like on my lip. It was I don't know how it happened. I don't know. It wasn't my fault. It well, it didn't really hurt, but it actually bled quite a lot. I mean, and I had to like hold a little tissue up there to get it to stop bleeding, so so, Heather, are you getting ready for your Sunshine Summit? Oh, man. I'm getting psyched. See, this live stream, the Podcaster's Lounge, like this is my, well, you could you probably see from the title, it's Podcaster's Lounge number 19. Uh, this is my 19th stream, <clears throat> and we'll see what happens in the future. I mean, I want to stream more in the future. But um, I'm going to mute myself so I can cough. That's one great thing about the Mix Pre 6, man. Right? You just can mute yourself. Or it's so easy. Yeah, you're getting the layouts organized. Yeah, so 52 days. Wow. This thing's creeping up, Heather. All right, there's the schedule. Oh, there's me. See, you always... Don't you always find yourself first? Like... If there's a list of names and stuff, don't you always like you kind of look for your own name or you, or you recognize your own name quickly? Isn't that true? I remember one time when I was in third grade, we had this we did this project where they had a light and then a, the student would stand there. We were third graders and you stand there and then and then the light was here. And then the, the, there was a piece of paper on the chalk, like a piece of paper that was here and someone drew around the shadow that your, your profile created. So it was like, so it was like your profile, you know, your hair and your, your nose and your, and your chin. And so you would stand there and someone would draw your, like draw your profile, not draw it, but like just the outline of it. Then they would cut it out and 
Uh, the eldest bro, dude. Sorry, I meant to give you one of these real quick. Oh, forget it. <laughs> um, so anyway, then they just cut it out. They cut out the profile of each student's face, the third graders, us third graders. And on they had parents night. And on parents night, all the parents came and the teacher put up, hung on the wall, all the, the, um, all the profiles of all the students. And it was just, bl it was black paper cut out in a profile, right? I don't know why I'm pointing over there, but, um, and my mom told me that when she walked in the room, she just looked up and immediately picked me out. She, like, she just was like, oh, there's, there's his. Because, you know, like subconsciously, she knew her own son so well that she could just look at a wall of these profile cutouts and boom, she knew who it was. So, all right, Barry, did you like that story? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. See, at least Barry liked it. He might have been the only one. So, Sunshine Summit. Yes, I'm psyched. And so, wait, Sunshine Summit is August... 10th, 11th, 12th. Wait a minute. Yeah, see, this is the thing. So podcast movement is August 13th through the 16th. Oh, yeah. And the Sunshine Summit is from the 10th to, oh, the yeah, here, the 10th to the 15th. So podcast movement starts on right around here on day four. So that's why I'm going to be doing mine on Sunday, the 11th. Um, right. Yeah. Sunday, the 11th. And so I'll do mine Sunday night. And then I think the next day I travel to podcast movement. Yeah. So, Hey, Heather, by the way, I, um, well, I know I'm going to be busy at podcast movement, but, um, I don't know. I always think about live streaming from these events, but like when you're just using your phone to live stream, it's it, it's not so easy. Meaning it's you can stream, but sometimes the quality is not great. And sometimes, um, you know, the sound's not great and, and you can't have it. You can't show it much on the screen, you, 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 you know. So anyway, um, so I thought that was a funny video. <laughs> I, I, it's It sucks. Hey, guess what I got for my phone, okay? So I'm such a bad streaming host. Live stream the floor for those who can't be there. Brad Hargis, what's up, dude? Um, I did that from Podcast Movement last year a little bit, uh, but... Um, I don't know it it yeah it I mean streaming from the floor was okay but here's oh here's the problem I had so I had to, it took me a, a second to remember uh hi Devona Thorne what's up hey uh Barry Devona Thorne is here yeah oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> Barry's over there. He's off camera again, but he's here. Um, no, what happened was I had my my gimbal, which is the thing, and then my phone on the gimbal, and then why am I? Sh I should switch to the. So I had my the gimbal thing, and then I had the phone on the gimbal, and then I had my microphone in the other hand, and I should have got. Should have got a picture of this. Do I have a picture of this? Anyway, I had the microphone, the shotgun mic in this hand, the cable running into this hand with the gimbal, which had my phone, which I had a little adapter with the cable going into the phone. And, <clears throat> and I was streaming. And but so the camera, like I would hold the gimbal out here, and and so the camera was pointing. So I was like filming myself with the mic, and then I could also have someone stand next to me and do that. Um, you know what? My arms got really tired. I mean, literally I just holding stuff like this. And after like three minutes, it's like, uh, this was a bad idea. <laughs> I mean, really it was a terrible idea. 
So I needed help. So maybe if there is help, um, you know, at Podcast Movement, maybe I can stream a little. So I recently got this thing. <clears throat> so I don't know if you guys remember, but I figured out a workaround for so that I don't have to use Wi-Fi in my house because the Wi-Fi router is like, I'd say it's about nine or 10 feet away, right over there. And it used to sit right in front of me, right next to my computer. And when I got the new router, like I was feeling like a little headache. Like I felt like the radiation, like I'm sensitive to that stuff, maybe more than most people, I guess. I don't know. So then I was like, man, and then I bought this, uh, this meter, it's like a $400 meter that you, you turn it on and you hold it up and you could things that radiate the RF radiation, it, the little meter goes up. And so I, I did that to my phone. Like when you have your phone on, like just your phone on, it's radiating. Then if you have it connected to Wi-Fi, it radiates even more. So then the router radiates. So I, I wanted to get away from all this radiation. So I figured out a way to run ethernet cables through the power lines in my house and then so now the wi-fi is off and i have everything plugged in with an ethernet cable so what i did and i was talking to alan tepper i got what you see on the screen which is right here anyway it's on the screen but now i can literally i plug this thing into my phone and i plug the ethernet cable into it and i can literally get you know high speed internet on my phone when my phone is completely like in airplane mode it's pretty cool. Hey, Carrie. What's up? Hey, uh, Barry. Um, Carrie's here. Did you see that? No way. You crazy? <laughs> Barry, sorry. Barry had, there was a slight pause there. He gave me a look. He cocked his head and then said, No way. You crazy? <laughs> uh, it wasn't me delay with pushing a button. It wasn't that at all. It was Barry pausing for dramatic effect um yeah i gotta start my arm workouts i actually hurt my shoulder doing <laughs> doing like push-ups in january i'm i mean it's it's funny because it's funny uh but it, it hurt and it still hurts but anyway i gotta start <laughs> working out more um oh carrie that's a yeah so we can do the podcasters lounge from from podcast movement yes we can we can figure out a way so we can even uh so anyway i have a i have a hotel room right on site so maybe maybe we can invite a bunch of people and stream from the hotel room or something i don't know and anyway i'll, tr I'll try to think of something but that'd be cool carrie yeah we could stream or something we'll have to obviously get the audio right and I don't know if we could stream from a phone or if we could, you know, I, I will have my laptop uh, because I do have to on Thursday evenings. I have to produce an episode for Friday morning. Every Thursday, I have a client who records on Thursday, sends me the audio and they want it published early Friday morning. So I have to, you know, basically any time Thursday evening, I have to I can I produce her show and then I schedule it for the next morning. Barry. Uh, Barry is going to be at podcast movement because when I give my talk, I'm going to be, um, I'm going to have my, my sound clips. I should show you my sound clips here. Let me do this. All right. I'm going to unplug my iPad here. Watch this. You want to see my iPad with all the Barry clips? I keep hitting the wrong, wrong keys today. All right. Let's see if we can get the glare, right? Oh, Oh, it's not plugged in. But anyway, you get the idea. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to have this iPad for my talk because I'm going to be giving a talk at Podcast Movement. And so I will have my iPad. I will have Barry. Oh, wait. Wait, why can't I see my... Oh. Hmm. 
Now it should be back set up with my lightsaber. Oh, Bar sometimes Barry pulls out a lightsaber. I don't know where he gets it from, but I mean, dude. <clears throat> uh, what app? Yes, Carrie. Yes, we will do it. We will do it. It is has been decreed in this moment. Um, Brad Hargis, it's an app called, uh, oh geez, what is it called? It's an app called Soundbite, but there's another one I use called Soundboard. It doesn't matter. I mean, just, it's an app, it's a soundboard that just, it doesn't really matter. They're all kind of the same. And if you're just playing clips, then it's, some of them have different features like fading and stuff. Hey, does my, uh, does my, I think my face looks brighter this week, doesn't it? Because I turned the light up a little more. Am I, anyway, um, all right, what else, what else is going on with you guys? Carrie, did you put out an episode recently? Brad, what was your latest episode? And Devona, what was your late, what have you been up to? Anyway, I'm so psyched. Today, I, today's the first day I use this uh, this adapter to <laughs> plug an Ethernet cable right into my phone. Yeah, baby. I, I'm right. I'm so psyched because now I don't have to turn on, you know, my Wi-Fi or or any. Well, I didn't use my Wi-Fi, but Heather, you were recently on the Waves of Tech podcast with Dave and Steve Lee. Oh, that's cool. The Waves of Tech. Did it come out yet? Let's see. Uh, this looks like it. Where's Heather? Let's find Heather. Where in the world is Heather San Diego? All right. Is this the podcast? Well, yeah, it looks like the pod. Hey, this is Daniel J. Lewis's uh, thing. His podcast buttons. Look at all these cool buttons. You see this? Um, oh, wait. Why is that? Oh, my sound app was just closing. Um, you guys remember this song? I'm 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 so jumping all over the place. Oh yeah, doesn't it feel like it's the show's ending when you hear this? <laughs> all right, I'll turn it off. But <laughs> um, but this is uh this is like a WordPress plugin that Daniel J. Lewis created. I forget what it's called, but you can buy it, and it it gives you all these awesome it, like the icons for all the different directories and stuff oh yeah there it is heather so i got caught i got caught up looking at this this stuff i wanted to mention daniel j lewis the chat is so slow devona okay S sorry about that um working as a va so i only do back-end show notes at the moment don't produce yet all right show notes wow so yeah i well I just did some show notes for my... Uh, so an episode of my show is coming out tomorrow with Evo Terra. And what's cool is like he was... Evo... Here, let me let me pull it up. Why doesn't it auto-fill it in? This is Evo. He, he was the 40th podcaster ever back in 2004. Isn't that cool? And anyway, him and I, well, we talked a little bit about his gear. Well, probably half about his gear, maybe a little more than half about his gear and how he records. And then the rest of the time, I was totally talking to him about the good old days, 2004 and 2005. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, it's amazing. Oh, yeah, Erica. Yeah, so I'm meeting with her soon. Yeah, and she'll be in the course. Absolutely, yes. Yeah, it's it's going to be awesome. It's just awesome. I, it, I, I am so happy and grateful that I can, you know, run the podcast engineering school and teach so much and, and help each and every student take their knowledge from like zero to 100 or, or from two to a thousand. It's awesome. Um, anyway, so Evo Terra, that's tomorrow's episode of my show and my show 
is the podcast engineering show. I'm sure, well, hopefully you are all subscribed to that. The podcast engineering show. Yeah, baby. All right, so let's get back to this. Yeah, off the grid living with Heather Welch. Look at this. Wait, Heather, is that your house? I wonder if this is your house, Heather. That'd be cool. That looks awesome. Although, well, it's winter now in New Zealand, but this isn't winter here. But All right, there's Heather. <laughs> oh, it's not your house? All right, well, you have to find what house that is and buy it, Heather. Come on. Set some goals. <laughs> All right. If anybody's watching on Facebook, well, we got one person watching on Facebook. Hello, Facebook viewer. Welcome. Glad you're here in the lounge. Meet Heather Welch. She was recently interviewed about off the grid living. Uh, Heather, did you know one of my goals, like one of my serious life goals is to to have a retreat center in in nature, like in the middle of Colorado or Montana or somewhere in the middle of nowhere and have like literally 1500 acres or 2000 acres or 3000 acres and just have a retreat center and just pretty much be off the grid, but uh, maybe not completely off the grid, but, um, but that'd be awesome. All right. So I'll have to listen to this Heather. So this is good. I'll put this in the show notes and I, I did. I'm, I think I missed some, some of the chat. Yeah, see, Carrie. So Carrie's doing fine. Awesome. Going to be posting some stuff too. What are, who are the other 39? I think we were 10 million and 40. Huh? Yeah, dude, right? <laughs> the old, the, the old days of podcasting. Yes, Heather, you can come on a retreat, retreat there. That'd be awesome. So, yeah, like Evo, like, but funny thing, like I got into podcasting in 2012 and that seemed to me, that seemed late because it was already had been going for eight years. And, you know, Daniel J. Lewis and Dave Jackson were, were, were going strong and actually Cliff Ravens, Ravenscraft was going strong at that time too. And, uh, yeah. But but now 2012, that was 7 years ago. So next next year is like the happening. Like 8 years I was not in podcasting and then 8 years I was in podcasting. Anyway, the episode with him comes out tomorrow. It's really it's pretty cool. It, it was a real nice conversation. So what shows Oh yeah, the waves of tech. All right. So there we go. And um Yeah. Have you guys heard of the Earbuds Podcast Collective? <laughs> Wait, where is it? There it is. Yeah, it's a page. I liked it. Oh, it's a group and I'm joined. Anyway, there's a page and a group. And it's run by uh, Ariel. Yeah, Ariel Niss. She runs. She runs the Earbuds Podcast Collective. It's a weekly email as well. So if you're, you know, it's pretty cool because what they do is they have. Uh, what they do is they have a, a listener, like just some, you know, a listener somewhere, or who's a member, um, come up with a list of five podcasts that are in a certain genre. So they'll pick like a genre or a topic and they'll pick five like podcast episodes or podcast shows or something. And it's in the, e there's a e weekly email. So it's kind of cool. So if you look at the topic and you like the topic, then, then it, you know, it's, it's a great way to learn about new shows. Oh yeah. Devona, you want to go off the grid? Yeah, baby. 
Amenities are helpful with kids. Yeah, right? Jeez. I, I saw, uh, speaking of off the grid, I saw some... I don't think it was New Zealand, but it was somewhere... It was like a English or a Scottish family, but it was maybe it was Australia or maybe it was New Zealand. But anyway, I think they sort of lived that they lived on an island and there was nothing there. Like, like literally they were n not near anything. And so the family had two kids and the kids grew up there. And then, of course, the news people went to that island to interview them or something and. So the girl, the, the daughter was wanted to go to college and um, but she had never been anywhere or done anything or I don't even know if she met other people very often, probably a few times, but not not much. <clears throat> All right. So we'll look at some pod news. And also I want to look at uh, crypt, uh, crypto. So Bitcoin, nine, Bitcoin's around 9,300, which is awesome. Uh, that's a little too off the grid. Yeah, that's that happens, right? Like, I mean, that being too much off the grid, that would be, I mean, it's doable, but it's a whole different way of life, right? Like, like, how could I do what I do off the grid? Honestly, like, how could I produce podcast shows remotely and all that? Like, I don't think I could, right? <laughs> yeah, an RV. Yeah, we want an RV too. Household tips from the 50s. Really? From Scottish Housewives. Uh oh, isn't that uh? <laughs> well, I'm not. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. But uh, no, I'm not gonna say it. I, I'm not gonna get like s political and stupid. Like because I don't. I don't like all that. Uh, <laughs> the talk about you know feminism and discrimination and sexism and stuff and I just don't I don't like talking about all that meaning in public I'll talk pri privately I don't mind I mean, I mean I have some thoughts but not many and I'm and I don't have a lot of opinions either like you know what I mean but uh but anyway I could w shouldn't wouldn't some women maybe get upset that they're talking about uh, because they're saying housewives I don't know Anyway, Ralph M. Rivera is is a housewife, so <laughs> I, t I talked to him today. He was telling me something about podcast movement and stuff. Hey, Carrie, I had a th thought uh, what I wanted to do because with people lip smacking and like mouth noises and stuff, and I posted something on facebook a while ago but we should really start to gather like all like just nasty <laughs> nasty like mouth cl clicks and nasty mouth noises and like lip smacks and, or, and like double lip smacks do you ever hear that someone's like um <laughs> anyway i think we should we really need to start like an archive or something you know like <laughs> Oh god, isn't that great? Uh should I try and play the Obama thing again? You know what? I'm going to reload it. I want to hear this again. First it was Netflix and now the All right, here we go. Barack Obama. Hi everybody. Now I have to say thank you uh, to the people who helped make today possible stamps dot com <laughs> stamps dot com oh god 
there you go. <laughs> Obama. Oh, God, isn't that funny? All right. See, there, there's even a session at Podcast Movement uh, hearing from podcast newsletter writers. There you go. Oh, wait. You know what? Ariel's going to be with him. I heard this today. Ariel, I was just talking about Ariel and the Earbuds Podcast Collective. She's going to be with James Cridland and Will Williams and Sky Pillsbury. That's pretty interesting. I, I'm, I'm kind of interested in the practical aspects of that. Like, well, I don't know. I'm, ha I'm, I'm sort of having a crisis lately with writing. I don't know if I should tell any, tell you guys, but, oh, because it's so stupid. Like, like, do you think I, I just think that every adult human being should be able to write, right? But I can't. Meaning I, I can write, meaning I'm not talking about writing. I'm talking about like if you had to write an article every month, like a 750 word article every month, which isn't that huge. Could you do that easily? Because for me, it's like one of the hardest things ever. I mean, you can give me any audio files you want. Give me anything and I'll make it really good. Absolutely. That's what I do. But ask me to write a monthly article. I mean, God, I sit there and I write and I don't know what to write. And then I'll write some things and then I'll like, I'll go over two or three sentences and I'll just spend a lot of time on that changing little words and flow. And I, I think the things that I'm doing when I'm writing are good. Like I'm making, like if I really stuck with it and spent like 19 hours writing this stupid thing, like, I think it would come out okay. I don't think it would be great, but I think it would be fine. But the thing is, it would take me 19 hours. And it's frustrating because I, it's not that I beat myself up. It's just that I think to myself, shouldn't I be able to just sit down and write something? But I don't know. Writing, it, it's not easy, you know? I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys write? I mean, I write the daily goodies, right? You guys know my daily goodie blog posts. Hopefully you're subscribed and you can receive the daily goodie every day or a weekly digest. See, I can write this stuff. This is easy. Look, this is the one from today. It's three little tiny paragraphs and it's just an idea using 612 or 18D per octave filters. And I just generally just talk about it. I could just write it. I don't have to tell stories and build characters and have a plot and have movement. It's like, no, it's just a couple things. And that's and, and it's helpful. It's just a little education, right? Yeah, show notes is the same way. It's like, I just, I mean, you see my show notes. It's like, hey, my guest was Joe Smith from this XYZ podcast. And his website is XYZ.com. We talked about... And then I list like 10 things we talked about in a bullet list. That's it. <laughs> That's my show notes. Oh, you have like a hundred half written blog posts. Oh. Yeah. So. That's what my editor told me because I'm actually writing a column. Well, I'm failing at writing a column, but I wrote one so far but for pro sound news and my editor, I told him I'm having trouble, man. I can't do this. This is, this is crazy. And he told me, he gave me some pointers and, and then I tried again. And I'm like, I don't know if I can do it. I literally, I don't, I think I have to quit. I, I don't think I can do it. And he said, well, maybe you can talk it out and record yourself and then transcribe it. And I thought to myself, that's, that's a good thing to sort of get you going, I guess. But then you got to go through what, you know, the transcription and tighten that up, which, okay. So I think overall it would be good, a good way for me to do it. But, um, oh, wow. You're see, um, Hey Brad, 
<laughs> if I send your wife some show notes, <laughs> can she uh, whip them up for me? <laughs> oh, God. Brad Hargis. <laughs> I can't spell, Brad. The cinema guys.com, right? Or am I crazy? No, we are the cinema guys. Wait, what is this? Uh oh. Uh oh, Brad. What's happening? We are the cinema guys.com. Yeah, this is it. Brad Hargis. Oh, yeah. Hey, Brad, my wife and I have been wanting to go see a movie for like two months, and we keep looking looking at what's playing, and we're like, nah, nah, nah. I guess the last one we saw was, uh... oh, the one, uh... here, I'll just scroll down because I know you guys talked about it. The, uh... oh, yeah, Endgame. Yeah, we saw Endgame. Uh, I talked about it already, but. Ow! Uh oh. I hope my lip doesn't start bleeding. I think I just bit it. All right, not bleeding. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, transcriptions are tough. But if I. So, Devona, if I was going to do a, like a 750 word blog post, I could. If I and I made an out, you'd have to make an outline first. So I'd, I'd have an outline, and then I would turn on the mic, and I would just talk for I don't know how long, five minutes, eight minutes. Anyway, and then, then tighten it up. That's what I would do. Yes, Brad Hargis, we are the Cinema Guys. Brad, Justin, and the Cinema Maiden, and you guys go off, man. You guys, like go off on tangents and like, you know, inside jokes and not too inside though. Not, not inside. So it's annoying, but just like you can tell you three are hanging out, having fun. It's, it's a, it's a cool vibe. Wait, Carrie, what are you saying? It's not that hard. So you, do you do, uh, do you talk it out and then transcribe it and then, then use that as your show notes? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. I heard about this. Shift FM is a workout app that lets you listen to podcasts while you rest, listen to music while you lift, and everything else you need in a workout app. Really? Okay, Devona. Oh, keywords. That's another thing. I don't even do keywords. I don't... I don't think of keywords i don't consider keywords it's terrible i'm oh that's why see when i start thinking about all the marketing and all that i just get frustrated because i don't know anything i know like i know several things and this is about it i know this i know this i know this i'll play this like mozart I'll play this like Bach. And I'll play this like Magnus Carlsen. But when it comes to writing show notes and keywords and marketing, yuck. I'm such a loser. Wow. Yeah. I I just I I don't know. I just don't know if I'd ever get good at it. So like, I mean, I could take a writing class and I mean, should I really do that? Maybe I should. I mean, what should I do? But there's like 9 million things I'm not good at. So it's not just writing. It's everything, right? So, I mean, I wish, I mean, well, yeah, Carrie, I guess I'm using some keywords. I mean, here, here, look. So here's. Here's the last episode with, uh, oh, that's my goodie bag, 134. So, oh, wait, let me go here. Yeah, here's here's Nick Dunkerley, so from Hindenburg, right? A couple weeks ago, great episode, right? This is a good one. Nick's a great guy. Okay, there's the, play, there's the Libsyn player, which isn't 
the sexiest player on the planet, but it's it's okay. I don't mind it, actually. Okay, so here's Nick. And my first paragraph always says, Welcome to episode X of the Podcast Engineering Show. Listen and subscribe in blah, blah, blah. Boom. That's my first paragraph every every episode. On the website. I don't put this in the show notes of the in the podcast feed. I don't I, I don't put this in the podcast feed, but this is on the website. Because if anyone lands here on the website, the first thing I want them to know is that it's the podcast engineering show and they can listen and subscribe here, right? I think that's a good thing to do. Um yeah, delegate Devona. I know. I know delegate, but that's delegating work is not that's it's not that simple. You know? It's just not that simple. It's like, well, what what do I delegate? How much of it do I delegate? And who do I hire? That's and that's probably the biggest problem. Who do I hire? Because it's just rough. I mean, who even has time to go interview three or four or five people? Seriously, just to do some little task. And then every, because trust me, a lot of people I worked with, I would, I would let, I would ask them to do work for me and they don't do it right. They don't, or they don't meet the deadline and they don't care. They disappear. Right. So anyway, then I say, my guest is Nick Dunker Lee, creative director at Hindenburg. They make the very popular Podcasting DAW software, Hindenburg Journalist Pro. Now I'm scrolling down. Sorry, I did it. Okay, so that's that. And then we discussed lots, including, boom. And there's the, there's a bunch of the, I guess those are keywords in there. Is that what you're saying? And then thanks for being a great guest, Nick. And then that's it. That's it. And then, of course, this, I always include this at the bottom. Did you know we exist for the purpose of helping you? So please comment below with any questions or remarks. We appreciate you listening. Want to start a, a business or have a career as a podcast producer engineer? Listen and subscribe and whatever, all that. Um, I do have some keywords. All right, cool. It's not little if it takes you a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I hear. I mean, what? So what I'm doing now is is a streamlined version, but you know, it does take a lot of time. But anyway, what about your uh, show notes, Carrie? Ah, uh, wait, what? Oh, it's it's your listing in Pod News, right? Pod News. See, James Cridlin, he's a he's a smart guy, man. On his site, he pulls in every podcast from Apple Podcasts, I think. And so everyone has a on podnews.net, every show has like a like a profile page. Yeah, Devona getting in the groove. Oakland Twitch, dude. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. You're working on a presentation. Oh, I look great. Wow, thank you. Do you wear makeup? No, I don't wear makeup. Although I do need a little lip makeup today. I mean, here, I'll show you why. Because this is important. See that? <laughs> That's a cut on my lip. <laughs> and uh, I need makeup for that. Like what What would an actor or like a TV personality do if they literally cut their lip like this? I keep turning the wrong way. Like, can you put makeup on your lips or is that called lipstick? Anyway. <laughs> you just kissed your monitor <laughs> oh oh dude oh yeah so how do we get to the oh here's the website look at that see oh i should have you know what i wanted to do it like 
did it like this. He did it like that. He didn't. <laughs> okay, <laughs> terrific. All right. Here we go. Season one, episode 10. Okay. The funny details of podcasting with Lisa Orkin. All right. No, I didn't bite it, Devona. I cut it shaving. I was shaving and it just, I've, I've, I've never cut my lip th this bad when shaving. Like it's a direct hit on the lip itself, not like this, the corner or something. Anyway. Oh, you didn't even notice. Oh, cool. So, okay. So let's, uh, here we go. All right. There's the title. Oh man. Look at the artwork. It's so big. And look, ooh, on the right subscribe. Okay. I like it. Not found. What? Terrible. <laughs> Seriously, Carrie, is that is that a problem? <laughs> is this Stay focused. I'm trying. Although this is the lounge. And what are you people drinking? I'm not drinking very much, but I'm finishing my uh oh wait. Anyway, can you see it here? The Zions Whatever. I don't know how to say it. It's a little energy drink. It's wild grape flavor. So wait, Carrie, this is this is how it's supposed to look? No? Anyway. Anyway, the, the URL is yayapodcasting.com slash JP10. And I clicked on it from... Oh, wait a minute. Let me go back to the homepage. <laughs> oh sure heather um i hope it's helpful no it's not supposed to coffee and adderall i just heard about adderall i think i just spit on my monitor you know if, <laughs> if i turn off all like when i turn off my computer and everything at the end of the day my monitor is like <laughs> i have to clean it it's like the it's like the surface of the moon but with spit <laughs> right Coffee and Adderall. No, I just listened to this podcast about a woman who was addicted to things and Adderall was one of them. I, di I didn't ever know what Adderall was. What is it like? It, it's just like energy or something? Or is it like an actual drug? But you're drinking coffee and Adderall. And and Oakland Twitch, what is that? I Majora. <laughs> yes, you got it. Thank you. <laughs> oh yeah can you guys imagine if i drank alcohol or smoked weed or anything imagine me and barry just really just stoned that'd be interesting <sighs> but those days are those days are gone so wait where is it oh podcasts all right. So here I'm going I'm going back to this. Okay, so this is Oh, here it he is. Here's the category. Season 1, episode 10. I click on it. And yeah. So there you go. Carrie, check it. But anyway, if y'all never listened to Yaya -Ya podcasting, please or it's called Just Podcasting. That's the show. Yaya yeah, yeah, Exclusive. What is that? Is it like a... Is it like female only? Nothing found? Oh, Carrie. <laughs> is, your, is your website... <laughs> All right. Because uh, I'm on the run. The cops got my gun. And right about now I'm trying to... Um, um, oh, whatever. It's been, it's been a million years. Right? It has to have been like, when's the last time you listened to that Beastie Boys album? For me, it was in the 80s. Absolutely in the 80s. I don't think I ever listened to it in the 90s or beyond. So that's that's 30 years. It's freaking 30 years, people. Yeah, so RX Elements is having a sale. Yeah, it's a pretty crazy sale. I I don't think I've ever 
really looked at elements because... So RX elements... Wait, so we're... Oh, here it is. All right, RX elements. What do you get? Wait, don't they give you... Oh, this is it. Repair assistant, D-click, voice denoise, D-clip, and D-hum, right? That's what you get. Well, those are top features, or is that all of them? I'm confused. Yeah, that's all of them, right? Yeah. Right, the sales on B&H. I just want sharks with freaking laser beams on top of their heads. Now, what do we have? Right? So, yeah, $10 for D-click, voice denoise, D-clip, and D-hum, and repair assistant for all of it. Meaning repair assistant... Um. Repair assistant, like, it's sort of what it evaluates the entire file and it an, or analyzes it. Duh. It says it right on the screen and, and sort of gives you suggestions for processing. B and H. Oh yeah. RX elements. Yeah. 10 bucks. Really? Really? Ten bucks? I mean, this is this is amazing. Well, this is what companies do, right? They they'll offer something good for a ridiculous price to get you in the door. But but it's great stuff for ten bucks. This is crazy. I wonder if I hmm. Uh, you get spectral view. I would assume. See, I don't know how elements works, though, because like, you know, R the regular RX, it's its own standalone program. And then it has all the modules here. I mean, is elements a standalone program like this? I don't think so. Right. Or how does it work? It's just a plug in. Right. It's pro you probably use it like a plug in. Like in your DAW, you'd go here. And you'd add, for instance, here we go, VST3, uh, voice denoise, RX7 voice denoise, boom, it's a plug-in. So then I open it, and here's your voice denoise, wonderful. And you would use it in adaptive mode, or, oh, or you can adjust it yourself. But when you're using it as a plug-in, you would normally use adaptive mode. That means when the when the signal shifts, then this will adapt to it in real time, you know, in real time. So anyway, can't stick around. Hey, Bandrew. Thanks, man. Good to see you, brother. Bandrew Scott. I, I and I'm so Bandrew. Is it a secret about the guy, the voice at the end of your podcast episodes? Is it, is it a secret whose voice that is, Bandrew? This is a uh This is a Geeks Rising production with your executive producer, Bandrew Scott. Right? Did I do good? Reaper is a bit rough for fine cuts. Yeah, I don't I don't do fine cuts. But another person emailed me and said, Oh, why don't you do your detailed editing right in Reaper? And I'm like, show me. That's all I want to... I want someone to show me. Oh, thanks, Heather. Yeah, I want someone to show me in Reaper. I want someone to take out one mouth click and take... and, and remove the mouth click and ripple edit everything so everything comes to the right. I want you to do... I want someone to show me do how to do that in three seconds or less. If anyone can do that in three seconds or less, I want to see how. I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm saying I don't know how to do it. I really don't. I could do it, but it would take me like at least 30 seconds. 
And for one tiny mouth click, I can't spend 30 seconds on one tiny mouth click. Uh, you hired James Earl Jones to do your outro. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, sure, man. Putting you in touch. Uh, putting you in touch with the, that person. <laughs> um, Libsyn WordPress plugin failed me. Ugh. Oh, that's the Libsyn WordPress plugin? Oh, boy. I've never tried that, but I would, I'd be scared of that. Does that normally work okay, Carrie? The Libsyn WP plugin. Hmm. You've been running XClick, but it can get nasty. What is XClick? What is XClick? I guess I could search for it, but um, your executive producer, Andrew Scott, he did it like this. He did it like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just trying to get Andrew to stay on the stream for a little longer. <laughs> He's probably got to go eat dinner. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. WP's WordPress, right? So, um. There you go. Elements. Waves. Oh, it's a Waves plugin. Really? Oh, it's a click removal plugin. Okay. I wonder how new this is. Like sometimes it looks old, right? Look at the, the UI. It looks old. <laughs> Not saying it's bad, but it just looks old. <laughs> yes, Bandrew. I'm I'm doing and and did Bandrew, did you see this too? I I uh I had my Alter Boy plug in ready, which I can put it on now, but I I didn't find the right settings. And it's it sounds horrible. But this will I want this will pitch my voice down like an octave and it's and it does it really well. And it also makes me the robot sound. See, I'll turn it on. Okay. okay, now I should sound like a robot. Do I sound like a robot? I should sound like a robot. I don't know if I do, though. <laughs> anyway, I got to play with that plug-in some more. I'm, I love that plug-in. I mean, it was on sale, so I bought it. So, uh... Anyway, what were we looking at? Oh, we were looking at the pod news, the shift.fm. Wait a minute. I, I never looked at that. See, shift. Workouts for podcast lovers. Listen to podcast when you rest, shift to music when you lift, and everything else you need in a workout app. Really? Right? Yeah, it's a good good it it, it it does a good robot sound, but I don't know if the the uh I don't know if the settings I have it on I, I don't know if I like it. I didn't I I never heard it. And Taurus Real Tune is pretty wild for auto tuning. Yeah, expensive. Yeah, that's for auto tuning. That's for uh singing. That's like if I was Bandrew and I'm singing uh I wish I had a guitar to strum. Uh Bandrew sings on his channel, podcastage on YouTube. All right, auto tune that if you can. <laughs> Good luck. That's what ha that's what you get when you when a drummer sings. Okay. <laughs> All right. What's what's Bitcoin doing? You guys paying attention? <laughs> oh, it's almost ninety three hundred. Okay, terrific. So, oh, you know what I found out today? Um, cast box. Cast box. Yeah, this is it. So that remember the cast box app that that made the news like what was it about 6 months ago when they they imported all the podcast feed, but then they, 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 what did they do? They like duplicated the fees, feeds or masked them or something. I forget what they did, 
but it was terrible what they did. It was terrible. And everyone in the podcast industry was like, you can't, you shouldn't do that. And so they ended up fixing it. Um, now they have this thing called Livecast. Livecast is a free audio streaming service on CastBox mobile and desktop that allows you to go live with the tap of a button. Set up a public or private chat room to connect with listeners in real time via voice and text. So through the CastBox app, you can stream live. And you can connect with listeners in real time via voice and text. What does that mean? Does that mean a listener can... A listener can chime in with audio as well or or submit audio build relationships and get paid to engage with your community uh do you ever run dual compression on your vocal tracks for the show oh yeah i use at least two compressors sometimes three uh so well that was my voice but um Yeah, I use uh, the Sheps Omni Channel, a little bit of compression there. Uh, usually I use the CLA 76, the Bluey, a little bit there. And so normally those two, but I also use the Vocal Rider at the end of my chain. And I don't usually use it on my voice, but the, uh, the FabFilter Pro MB, the multiband compressor from FabFilter, this is like, this is one of my favorite plugins ever and it will be forever this is just one of the greatest plugins ever i don't know what else to say it's so high quality and it's so great it's just great i don't that's it i'm gonna end the stream now oh speaking of ending the stream i actually have a client session tonight so i have i do have to instead of streaming for two hours tonight i'm gonna stream for an hour and a half are you compressing on the portico? Yes, I am. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah, it, but it's very light. Very light compression. It, me, uh, My ratio is probably... I should look. You know what? I'm going to go look. Hold on. <clears throat> on the portico compressor it's 2.3 to 1 so pretty gentle 2.3 to 1 and the mix knob is about 90 95 percent so i'm letting a little bit of the dry signal through but most of it's the compressed signal um on the ships my ratio is three point three and a half to 1 on the CLA 76, it's four to one. And usually if I do use the Pro MB, I would probably, well, no, I have this set up differently, but I, I set up the multiband differently, but yeah, those are the, those are the ratios. There you go. Now, now we're getting all into audio ratios and settings and we'd probably just lost 90% of our viewers. <laughs> Meaning one, one person. <laughs> oh, God. And someone's watching on Facebook, but I don't know who it is. Or maybe it's me. No, it can't be me, right? Because I haven't, I didn't click on it in Facebook. Um, there you go. Anyway, I, I wonder if this works well. But the thing is, it's, a, it's an app, right? So like whoever's listening, they have to use this app. And how many people, I mean, how many people actually use this app, CastBox? Yeah, no, I love the technical too, man. So, I, I mean, I love it. Uh, no limiting then? No, I don't really do any limiting. I mean, no, I don't, I don't have that turned on. Yeah, I don't, I don't do any limiting. Um, well, when I... Actually, when I prep my raw tracks in RX, I do, I, I set them to minus 23 luffs with a peak of minus three. So that does some limiting 
there on the raw tracks, but not not much. Depends on the depends on the track. But anyway, secret ratios. Oh boy. <laughs> Imagine if I came, I did that like, hey, uh, for $999, you can join a club where you get all the settings and stuff. Hey, you know what I did recently, which was awesome? And you guys can, I mean, I don't know. You probably knew I did this, but, um, or you can, if anyone ever needs this, you can send them my way. Um, custom settings for your voice using the Sheps Omni Channel plugin. So I will process your voice using the Sheps Omni Channel plugin to make it sound great, and then I will send you the exact settings I use so you can dial them into your Sheps Omni Channel. In fact, I have to change this. It's not dial them in. It's it's like in here I actually save I save this exact these exact settings and I save it as a file and I send it to the the person. And then they just and then they just go here and load it. They load the file that I send them, and then all the settings come up. Boom, done. Um, there you go. But people need to own the Sheps Omni Channel because I'm not I'm not giving them the the actual plugin. I'm just giving them custom settings. So anyway. Yeah, that's the thing. That's what always happens is uh, I do I can process it with the Sheps Omni channel, but I always want to use like uh, my other plugins, but I can't really use them if the customer doesn't have them. So, by the way, it's been an hour and twelve minutes. If you're enjoying the stream, you can click the like button, that bell, that sub, and I forgot to play music this entire time. I mean, what would you guys do if I wasn't? hearing songs and getting frustrated throughout the stream i mean it wasn't this weird <laughs> wasn't this weird i didn't get frustrated with the music once <laughs> although i got frustrated <laughs> i got frustrated with writing okay now we got some music dennis kumar serene thanks dennis news lately in the podcasting space Oh, you got, yeah, thank you, Carrie. I'm glad you get the notifications when I go live. So one of the things with the Podcasters Lounge is like, oh, here comes the music. Oh, God. Hear how when the kick drum hits, everything sucks in. Yeah, they do that with sidechain compression. That's how they do that. So with the, but they sidechain the entire mix with the kick drum coming in from the side. She podcast live, hundred had hundred and eighty plus speaker applications for fifty slots. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be a huge. It's already a huge success. That's. She podcasts live. So you're so you're going, Carrie, right? That's awesome. I, well, are you, actually? You should demo side-chaining compression on music when you speak. Yeah, baby. Um, yeah. Oh, Heather, you got a virtual ticket. We got to get Heather. We got to get you over from New Zealand over to here. Or else we're all just going to come visit you, wh whichever you prefer, Heather. I mean... You got room at your house? We can all, <laughs> we could do the podcaster's lounge from your house. I mean, it's winter. We can drink hot cocoa off the grid. Um, so anyway, with the lounge, like, yeah, you need to come over here. So the lounge is like, 
it's obviously right now very small. And so I'm so happy that you guys are here and joining me and having some fun. And I hope it's va beneficial in some way to you. Um, and I hope to keep growing this Podcasters Lounge live stream and incorporating different things. Yeah. Yeah, we need to do, we need like a, a class trip to New Zealand. I mean, we, some, someone's, someone get on that. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, I, look, I want to go to New Zealand at some point in my life, right? So, yeah, you get to pick my brain. Oh yeah. So anyway, I was I was gonna tell you something about the lounge. Oh no, like I'm trying to figure out how to first of all do a better lounge. I mean, you see what I'm doing now. This is basically what I've done for the the nineteen streams I've done. But like I always wanna do better and do different cool things and Oh, you know there's this guy called White Sea Studio on YouTube. And guess what guess what guess what video guess what he did in, Hi. in one of his I'm videos recently. Audio engineer Look familiar anyone? Yes. He's playing Sound Gym on his channel. He has a big channel too. Like look at he has 50,000 subscribers. And he's and he so he, what he did is he paid for Sound Gym, which is I think is like ten bucks a month. You can pay, and then you get access to everything. Maybe I should pay and play more games on here. But anyway, he did a video. Are my ears any good? And he went through and because when you pay, you get all these these cool games like. Yeah, EQ night, balance memory, peak master, compression, like all these different games you get, so. Yeah, you think I should carry? Thing is, I gotta See, monitoring is is I mean I can monitor with these headphones, but Ultimately I would like to run my sonar works at the same time but the problem is when I'm streaming I don't want to use my sonar works because that gets in the middle of things and it's so I mean and my sonar works curve for these uh oh wait what if I op uh oh if I open it now is it gonna like crash everything um should I try it Okay, calibrations bypassed, that's fine, but my, uh, wait, where, iMac Pro 111, uh, here we go, these are my, wait, why is it, all right, anyway, these are my headphones, this is the, the profile for my headphones, and then, it's not showing the right curve. And I don't want to turn it on, but you see, you'd see the curve, like it, it, it helps, uh, correct all the little tiny deficiencies in the headphones. But anyway, can you quiz only on vocals though? Um, I don't know. We can do a Patreon for sound gym. Oh yeah. Oh, that's another thing like stream, like. Like, I'm such a... I don't know anything about streaming. I mean, I don't know anything. Like, all I know all I know is I have... Well, you can't see it, but Ecamm Live Beta. And that's all I have. And I just open some programs on my computer and I hit, I hit stream. And I have Restream. You know? So I'm streaming to YouTube, Mixer, Facebook, Periscope, Twitch, DLive, and LinkedIn. Oh, well, not LinkedIn yet. I applied for LinkedIn, 
and they sent me sent me a note back saying, "Well, thanks for applying. Uh, well, we're we're only taking very few streamers right now, so we'll 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 let you know if we start to let more streamers in." <clears throat> so, hey, uh, post your post a link to your stream if you would. Hi, Madge. Hi, Madge. All right. All right, so there we got this great music going. Right? It's got to be soundgym.com, right? What? Oh, come on. Soundgym.co. Oh boy. Anyway, start training. I guess I could log in, but oh, you have to log in to even see the. Anyway, been streaming for two years. Yeah, let me let me see your stream then. But anyway, I don't know how to promote things. Like I don't even know how to. On, on my uh, channel, like the title and the keywords or like, what is that pic? Like, it's a it's a static image you can put as like the cover or something. I don't know how to do that. Um, like, you could put links on the screen. I don't know how to do any of that. I don't know how to do anything. It's terrible. And this song, just like this song. This song and I have something in common. We're terrible. Yeah, the thumbnail, that's it. The the little cover image. I mean, I'm look, and again, I'm sure there's a simple way to do it, but it's just one of those million things that I don't know and I don't have I mean, when am I ever going to learn that? I mean, do I, maybe I should take a course in streaming. Right? <laughs> I mean, Bandrew, maybe someday? Yeah, I mean, Look, right now it's not my channel's nothing, but but I am. You know what I'm planning to do for podcast engineering school is to make a bunch of small videos, and that'll go on the, the podcast engineering school channel. So, and then of course that's promoting the school. Th this, the podcasters lounge is also promoting the school. But anyway, so my my podcast engineering school channel. Yeah, maybe if we if you could help me tweak that up. Once I start making short videos, that's the other thing. I have to actually plan them and do them. And, and I don't know. Bandrew, what do you think? Like, Just for everyone watching, this Mr. Podcast. Greetings, Earthlings. Greetings, Earthlings. Greetings, Earthlings. Greetings, Earthlings. Greetings, Earthlings. Greetings, Earthlings. I love that video. Um, oh, wait. I'll stick on home. But so, this is Bandrew's channel if you haven't subscribed. 109, dude. Oh, man. So happy for you. So, um, yeah, anyway, so if I do short videos, I, they wouldn't be anything like yours. Like, yours are awesome. You know how to do cool stuff. Like, all I would do is, like, like what you see right now. Th this is what I would do. I would be like, oh, yeah, this is the Shep's Omni channel. And I would talk about it a little, and then that would be my video. I don't know. Is that too boring? Or is that, you know... I don't know. I don't know anything. But I do know that I'm going to be at... Where is it? I'm going to be at... I'm going to be at Podcast Movement! <laughs> Pandrew, you might have to call in sick, dude. And just come to Florida? No? All right. Cool. Thank you, Bandrew. Yeah. So I, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to start that way. And then if it's... If it just... Really stinks badly, then hopefully someone will tell me, dude. Kind of like my daily goodies. It's like... They're so... Like... They're so plain. Like, like look... 
I don't I'm so lazy or I don't have enough time I don't even change the picture like I'm talking about 612 or 18 DB octave per with filters I should put a filter picture here oh see I have a client session in 35 minutes so the stream's gonna end soon oh man but anyway right I should have a picture here that shows what I'm talking about or maybe multiple pictures uh, whatever I mention, I should have an affiliate link. I mean, I don't have anything. Pitiful. And some people have commented about that. Well, that more they commented that that what I, the the content I was giving wasn't enough. They're like, dude, why don't you ex actually explain it? And I'm like, dude. <laughs> I know. I really, I should. I could. Hey, did you guys know I, I, I'm gonna, I want to start a secret society? Did you, did you guys know that's in the works? Let's see if it shows up. What the? <laughs> I mean, real, really? Oh wait, I have it. This is it. This is my secret society, which hasn't launched yet. The Civ Society. It's a secret society of volunteers amplifying lightness and wisdom in every human being. It includes secret training, meditation, spiritual work, and advancement levels. Dude. Bruh. Yeah, oh yeah. I know. Bar Barry's even Barry's not following me on that account. <laughs> First rule of a secret society. Oh. Mm. You'll join. Yeah. Uh I'm I am going to do my secret society. I really am. All right. Checking out I Madge, see you, dude, later. Thanks for chiming in. Thanks for checking in, I mean, and chiming in and sharing some great stuff. Thanks to all of you for being here. And uh, we might as well wrap it up now because I have to end the stream and uh, just make a list of all these links for the show notes. Show notes! And then uh, get set up for my client session. It's uh, So it's one of my podcasting clients and the guest is in, I think, China. So that's why, like, they can't do it at, like, 2 in the afternoon in the U.S. Because for them, it's 2 in the morning. So it's like, yep. <laughs> well, Banjo, we should really, I, I, I'm, I'm all for, like, I, I really think starting a secret society is a great idea for many reasons. Because the problem with the world these days is... Anything you want to find and anything you need information on, you can find it on YouTube and, and on, on the internet. But if it's a secret society, now you ha now people are interested because they can't just go see it. Right? It's not open. All right, Carrie, you like secrets? Well, we're gonna start the secret society, and maybe maybe when we go to New Zealand, we'll start it at at the. Uh at Heather's place. All right, have a great night, Heather. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you, Brandrew. Thank you, Brad. Thank you, everyone. Devona, thank you. Seriously, this has been awesome. Uh, that's it. So everyone go subscribe to Brandrew's channel and send him messages. That's all. Just send him messages. And I'm going to send you audio soon, Brandrew. All right, peace out, everybody. Perfect timing because this music is absolute rubbish so we should go out on the music we came in on what do you think oh yeah uh, all right everybody <laughs> we'll see you next week and i might yeah well i want to stream more but we'll see all right we'll see you next week thank you for coming by the podcasters lounge all right that's it punching out maverick see you all next week bye